Eurovision Song Contest 2016. Norway, represented by the song Icebreaker, performed by Agnete Kristin Jonsen, whom, if you think you recognize her from somewhere, that's probably because she, um, as a kid, uh, well, she's still kind of a kid, but as a much younger kid, she won uh, the Eurovision Young, uh, Junior Eurovision Nordic, or whatever it was, uh, with her band, the Black Sheeps. Uh, so, uh, at that early age, she and her friends couldn't spell. Uh, we're not going to hold that against her. The song, Icebreaker, won in our national selections earlier this year, which were some of the best we've had for a really long time. Uh, and the level of the songs was pretty good. We had some good entries. Uh, this was one of the two that I was hoping would win. Uh, so I was pretty happy with this. Uh, yeah, I should mention this, uh, in case you're watching and you don't know this, I am Norwegian. So this entry is representing my country, and therefore I am not entirely objective. But I am not the kind of fan who supports an entry because it's for my country. Uh, you should know that if our song sucks monkey balls, I will tell you. Uh, this year, I don't think it sucks monkey balls. I think it's actually one of the stronger entries. Uh, I slammed Slovenia for being so weird. We are also quite weird this year. Um, our lyrics are kind of weird. And most importantly, the melody is... I'm not even sure how to describe it. It starts out like this kind of depressing thing. You're thinking it might be a ballad. Then... You go into the verse, the first verse, and it's, oh no, no, it's not a ballad, it's like an up-tempo dancey pop song. But then you get to the chorus, and then the entire thing totally changes, and it's like you're listening to a different song. Um, and it's kind of distracting um, when you hear it, because this happens every time the chorus turns up, it's like they've put in a part of a different song there. It's, it is weird. It is weird. It takes a little getting used to. Uh, but... It's weird, but it's not necessarily bad. I think that... Well, um, I think this is one of the stronger entries, like I said, not necessarily because this is so brilliant, but because the lineup is pretty weak this year. Um, I think that this was a good choice for us. We have a young, pretty blonde girl singing it. Uh, the song to do with ice and frozen water uh, and that's gonna be something that people will connect with Norway unfortunately they're not completely wrong um, and I think the presentation of the song here in Oslo was kind of weird as well um, I don't know we usually tend to go with whatever we did in Oslo we try to recreate that on stage in the international final so we're probably gonna do something like this we could he matches the northern lights and whatever, and we could do something with this that hopefully will not be totally in your face, like, you know, trolls and northern lights region, but, you know, we could do something with it that people will like. Um, so this entry has quite a lot of potential. Uh, it has a, quite a beautiful melody. She's a pretty good singer. And I think it's memorable. Uh, yes, the melody is very strange, with all these tempo changes back and forth, but not necessarily strange in a bad way, and I think it's pretty memorable. I think this is something people will remember, uh, and if we don't get to the final this year, I will be very, very surprised. Uh, we don't always deserve to, but this year, I definitely think we do. Uh, I think that we have actually unlike some other years I could mention, we have made an effort and really tried to send Europe something that we can be proud of. And I think we can really hold our heads up this year. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a pretty good showing for Norway this year. Um, we have our ups and downs, but I think that's something that makes us interesting in this contest, that you never know what we're going to send. Uh, it can be the biggest load of bullcrap you've ever heard, or it can be a masterpiece. It can be anything in between. Uh, we have no standards, really. No standards. Uh, we'll just 
send you anything. This year, icebreaker, pretty good entry. Uh, I am optimistic for Norway. <laughs>